Alright people, how's it going? My name is Big Money, this is the Doug. We're in my uh, fucked up wee bathroom here, just, you know, snoozing away in the toilet beneath the urinals. Just, you know, the usual. Some dirty water, may as well nab that since that's all we can really get around here in fucking Nuka World. But uh, yeah, we're just out here. Get a good stretch in, McGraw. Yeah, there we are. Right, it's okay, so we're just out in the, the middle of uh, nowhere. Uh, Nuka World is uh, not a friendly place, as we saw last time, and uh, I'm just kind of, you know, going through the place and uh, seeing what I can discover. Although I'm right here next to Dry Rock Gulch. Should I just go in? I mean, we went past the Galactic Zone not too far from here as well, so I do want to... There's Dry Rock Gulch just there. Uh, I, I want to get some of these little places done. Because we have loads of different wee zones to do. I'm trying to find myself some... Oh shit, hello, what the fuck, man? Okay, I've got no ammo left for this. And there's uh, okay. Alright. Uh, you can at least let me explain what we're doing today, guys, before you try and murder the shit out of me. Okay. Go away, all of you. Just, just go away. Hey, the dog, dog can kill... Nope, he's not gonna kill that one for some reason. Kill that fucker right there, finally, Jesus. We good? We're good, oh, alright. Yeah, they took like half my health and I've uh, already taken quite a bit of rad damage. So that's, that's great. Galactic Zone's right there. I could just go in there and start that off. There is a power armor suit in there, but you have to get all of the star cores or whatever the fuck they're called, I think, to get in and actually get it. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll make a decision. We'll go here. We'll, we'll, since I already killed a couple of ones at the entrance already. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, they're already dead? Apparently, they don't work. All right. Apparently, they're not bothering their ass to even get up and attack me. Alrighty then. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. We'll just do we'll do the uh, galactic zone just now. Right, where are we? Oh shit, here we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. I should probably sort myself out before something comes around and one hits me. I mean I just die. Rads minus four hundred. Yeah, there we go. Good shit. Let's get rid of some of that rads. Hello, mate. That really didn't do very much. Fuck you off. And we're somehow over encumbered. How? Oh, oh! I forgot about the weight thing with the, the rads. Shit! I'm gonna be like losing carry capacity as these rads disappear. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Get rid of that bastard. Right. There we are. Hey, don't get back down here. Hey. Settle down, son. Apparently we're in danger. I refuse to believe it. Oh shit! Kill, kill fuck him! There we go. I get some decent XP for that. Oh, we'll never know, apparently. Just blast fuck at him through the floor. Nothing you can do about it. Just accept your punishment, mate. There we are. I'm not even sure where this is taking me, but we're, we're, we've already went up three quarters of it. Oh, a star core. Nice. And I'll have to get back down again. Oh shit, Jesus Christ, oh. Oh, oh, whoa. Hey, what? What, why? Why any of, why any of this now? Okay, no, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just stop you there. I'm gonna just stop, can you just? Okay. You enjoy, you enjoy the raid, guys? Yep. No, oh, they enjoyed the raid. Okay, uh, Doug's just jumping about having a fucking bath. Come on, hey! Come on. We got shit to do. Where does this take me? Yuka Galaxy. Alright then. Let's see what Yuka Galaxy has to offer. What? What's going on? Mr. Profi, well you can get fucked son, right? Oh shit! No chance for you son. I don't even know what it, what, what, what did he just try and do? He's just firing fucking coke at me. 
Apparently people were just binning these fucking tokens and tickets and shit left and right. No, get, go over the... Apparently you can't queue up. Oh shit. Oh shit, no, he's gonna murder me. Okay. Alright, I think he may have just like messed up my legs. Yeah, he did. He, he broke one of my legs. Okay. Shut up. The launch bay is just up ahead. Get to your ships. Come on. Cadet, I'm Nuka Girl, Ace Pilot. You ready for your first combat mission? Can you shut your hole? Stick with me, and we can take on the galaxy. Seriously? Someone else over here shouting about being go for launch. Oh shit. Go on, duck. Bite his robot balls. Do you get final hit, Doug? Go on, take him out. Should the dog be able to really do anything against a robot? It is a robot at the end of the day. What's he gonna do? Bite him? Ah, he bit the robot. <laughs> and his big metal arse. And he's really, he take a big chew, a big, big bite out of that. As if the dog can really fucking do much there. He's not got fucking titanium teeth now, does he? Oh, we got a control terminal and a nuclear core. Oh, okay. Can I do anything? Activate the, the lightning. Yeah, let's do that, man. Let's get a fucking light show on the go. Let's get a rave going, guys. No. Can we get in this? Oh shit. Main power. Ah. All right, mate. How's it going? Ah. Ah no. Okay, yeah, mate, you didn't just... Just kill it. Captain Astral Gutsy can get fucked. Right, yeah, almost actually. It did a lot of damage to me. <laughs> I have some more. Going to ales and shit. Alright. Does that shut that up if I take that out there? Oh, okay. Kind of dark in here. Show yourself, you bucks. Someone's causing a bit of a, a ruckus. Aha, uh -huh, we duffel bag and a fusion core. I can't really carry a fusion core, though, can I? Do they ever stop? They just seem to keep. Oh, shit. Right. No, apparently that didn't do anything. Okay. Just hit him. How am with that? Go away. Hello? Okay, here he comes. Come on, mate. No one said anything about hiding. There we are. See? See a... Is that a legendary? Well, apparently when I stand here he can't hit me. Okay, cool, I'll just stand here then. Oh, no, I can't hit him. <laughs> Finish this bastard. Jesus, man, he took a long time to die. 1,400 XP. Cheeky toolbox. What have you got for me? Nice. Ah, tools. Don't worry, I'll do my level up in a minute. Oh, okay, shit. Shut up! Alright. Here yeah, are goods. Another star core for me. Anything useful? Oh, dead guy, who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter who you are, you had 40 caps for me. Thank you. Oh wait, there's more here. Yeah, you had 56 caps for me. I will use them. You have not died in vain, good sir. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Right, you done? Oh shit. No. No, no, no. No, no, dog. No, the dog, the dog is fucking conspiring against me. You fucking dick. <laughs> Fuck you, dog, man. He just got me stuck out there for a firing squad of fucking turrets to just start shooting at me. I just for that. Bastard, man. You're, you're not getting fed today, you wee, you wee dick. <laughs> 
Ah, who am I kidding? I can't stay mad at him. He usually feasts on his enemies anyway, so I can't really stop God. him. Could I make that jump? I... No, I'm not gonna test that. That's really not worth the... Worth the gamble, is it? Ah, fuck you! Oh! Oh, shit. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There we are. I don't know what they were firing at. Apparently I'm in danger. I don't know what to. It's gonna be in that bunker, isn't it? I'm gonna open that door and it's gonna fucking lose its shit. Try and murder me. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, it's a, it's a wall. Uh oh. Something bad's about to happen. No dog, there's a grenade over there. Ah oh, shit. Kill it. There we go. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Right, come on now. Stop that shit. Alright, I don't know what, what the purpose of any of this is, where this leads. Is this the door? Oh, right, okay, here's the door. Something's going on. Alright, Radex, why not, man, why not? Apparently we're hidden. Come on, dog, keep, keep, keep it fucking doing, keep it doing, man. Yeah, game, I'm gonna level up when I've got a minute. Although I could technically do it now, but I'm, I'll go, leave it a minute, right? Come on. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. Kill the master! Drop dead, you fat fuck. Are you ready to die for your country? Yeah, can't. Yeah, see, I knew there'd be someone up there. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit, no. No, and I, I ran a... <laughs> I ran out of my fucking alcohol right before it as well, so it like I got stuck. No <laughs> ale. Yeah. I have so many grenades. I might as well just throw grenades at everything from this point onwards. Who's doing that? Oh shit, that actually did quite a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, they do a lot of damage, those turrets. Jesus. Right, um, let me just put a wee bit more into, into endurance, uh, yet again, mm-hmm, yep. All right, cool, there was another one up here that surprised me. Oh, and a star core, nice. Yeah, let me just get another fucking thing going here. Kinda need that to hurry up and just heal me before something fucking murders me in a second. Oh, that's it. Oh shit. No, stay. Right, okay, we're done. We're done. Dog. Duck. <laughs> there we go. Jesus, right, finally. Fucking turrets. Oh, there's more. Oh no, it's not. It's just this, this guy. Right, okay, well. Kill him then, please, McGraw. There you go. Right, anyone else? Yes, it was the answer to my question. <gasps> dog, you're blocking me again. Fucking... Oh, honestly, this dog wants me dead so badly. I don't know why. Do you not love me, dog? Can you stop... <laughs> stop blocking me, man. I think it's just because of all those times I've insulted him. He's just not had enough, man. Now he's just trying his best to get in my way and get me, me killed by someone. Hold on, dog. I'm, I'm busy over here. Yeah, I knew that fucking no one was about to show his ugly face. It doesn't have one, but you know. Ah, honestly, at this point, McGraw should walk around with a drip with just alcohol flowing through it at all times. Just to keep him going. 
I think per episode, he's up to drinking about 20 fucking beers. Easily. Oh, there's no star code here. I've already gotten this one. Something's making a lot of noise. It's kind of worrying. What is that? Is this not where I came out? Oh, shit. Hello, mate. Goodbye, mate. Right, show yourself, you smelly bastards. Can smell you for here. So, part medallion dispenser. Oh. I don't know I was supposed to do that. Okay, cool. I did a thing. Yay. Am I done here? Okay, I think I'm done here. There's probably a fucking bobblehead and about 40 other magazines and shit that I've walked right past that I didn't even know existed. So that's kind of the thing with this game, man. There's some people out there that have got a fucking PhD in Fallout 4 and they just know where every single tiny little fucking thing is and I'm just out here bobbling about, wandering past anything useful and not knowing what's going on. <laughs> you just get people just like, Hey man, you forgot a fucking bobblehead that was like lodged in someone's fucking rectum and his corpse in the corner and I, I was supposed to know it was over there just through, I don't know man. I'm supposed to have be some sort of fucking expert that knows where everything is, fuck sake. <laughs> oh shit, Radstorm. I've never seen a rad storm in a wee while, actually. I just jumped down from here. The dogs get absolutely no hesitation about doing that. So that, that's a star core over there. Can I make that jump? I'm gonna try. Yeah. Did it help me in any way? No. How about this roof? No, I, they should have at least had something up there. Right, I saw a star core from up there. There we are. Now, I know that there's a, a couple of raids you can go around on, on around here in the galactic zone. I just don't know where they all are. Oh, shit. Okay, he almost murdered me. All right. Oh, for God's sake. Burning through all these drinks. Kill it. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was quite a lot of XP. Oh, shit. Yeah, man, this place is uh, its trying its best to murder me. <laughs> it's doing not too badly, if I'm, if I'm honest. Right, there's something else. Mr. Frothy. I see you, bitch. And an iBot. Oh, just about got that guy. Alright. Yep, yeah, no messing about, man. Hey. Fucking. There we go. It's hard to hit the bastards, man. Ah! Absolutely tons of them. Anyone else? I know that the answer to that is going to be yes. It's just when I turn my back is when they show up. Oh, okay. Here's the room. Here's the room I was talking about. Let me make sure there's no turrets about to. Yeah, that is totally a turret dispenser thing. It's gonna fucking... Is that right? Hey, you know what? Right, there's my, my fucking combat armor in there, my power armor. Oh. Thank you for your contribution to the cause, good sir. Alright. Right, one, two, three, four, five, seven, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Twenty. I count twenty-nine. There's probably thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, probably thirty-three on this thing. <sighs> I was really hoping that that wasn't. What are you doing, dog? Seriously, what are you doing? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that most of the star cores would be used for the fucking UFO thing that they're supposed to be for, but only a few would be needed to get this power armor, but apparently you need over 30 of them to, to get that, and I have how many? Let me see. I have 10. I mean, yeah, yeah, I have 10. That's great. Oh, for f right. I think there's more stuff. Oh, shit. Kill it. Cool. I need to like save it, man. I need to find a bed of some sort for a walk around a corner and get fucking blown up or something. You could mixer station. 
cannot use well in combat. I wasn't aware I was in combat. Who's who's apparently fighting me? Show yourself. Oh, apparently you. Okay, I'll just. There you go. Good fight, mate. Good fight. Before he even gets one shot off, that's the way I like it, right? Okay, a bit up here is just the way. Okay, there's loads of shit over there. You can. Ah, I didn't mean that. You can have one of these, you cunts. Dog, seriously, stop chasing grenades. Up to 11, if it'll just open. Thank you. Alright, and a mini nuke. I don't have anything to fire that out of. I would. Oh, a hazmat suit. I don't actually. I never actually brought my hazmat suit with me. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna take that. I mean, people were saying that it could just use a hazmat suit in Kitty Kingdom, but the problem with that is then you're not armoured. But I mean, I could take the hazmat suit and just wear that in there, it's just that I'll probably die. That is the problem. I will probably most likely die. Galactic Zone Manager's Key. Okay, technical documents as well. All sorts of mad technical documents. Fucking Peyton Huxley, Executive Assistant to Mr. Bradburton. This is pending all over Starport Nuka. We experienced in all sorts of minor control malfunctions with the older model robots in the Galactic Zone. I'm sending over some of the incident reports. Nothing serious yet, but it's not control ever loses connection with these robots. I'm not sure what they'll do. Personally, I think her hardware is too far behind the software to have star control run the whole show right now. I know we don't want to hear that, but we really need to shut down the Galactic Zone and do a major overhaul before we have a catastrophic failure. Yeah. Apparently this guy has a lisp. This is panning over Starport Nuka. Sorry to disturb you directly, Mr. Brabberton, but we have a bit of a crisis on our hands over here. I'm certain your assistant can fill you in on the details if he hasn't already. I realize that the Project Cobalt has put a lot of resources on hold, but if we don't get the same help soon, this could get out of control. Star Control was never meant to handle this many robots at one time. And we keep being asked to add more older models to the system. Please approve my requisition for new staff and maintenance requests as soon as possible. Please, please help me, Mr. Brabberton. <laughs> this guy sounds a bit slow. I don't know what that voice was or why that's what I went to, but that's what I went to. Hey, this is from Ingrid Suvenstein, Su Starport Nuka Technician. Ryan, Mark and I are tired of fixing these goddamn robots, getting them to play nice with star control. The new systems put a strain on the control modules. Some of the older models just can't take the extra load. We're behind schedule as it is. And now you want us to chaperone to a group to star control? If you want this stuff fixed quicker, you need to hire more staff. Or get to the bottom of why our purchase orders keep getting held up. Please, goddammit, I need some more cigarettes down here. Fuck it, boy. Look, Pennant, I'm about one goddamn day away from quitting if you don't get us some real help around here. We got six units offline again today, and fixing each one takes almost an entire shift. Ingrid and I have been put on 60 hour weeks just to keep these things from falling apart around here. Look, get it together, or I'm walking, you goddamn bitch. All right, they sounded angry. All right, then, that's uh, <laughs> Understandable. Sound like they're getting worked to the bone. Uh, parts from lack of water. I think it came up food and water at the same time. Yeah, it did. That was kind of weirdly timed there. Cool. That. And that. Uh, there we go. What's this? What is this for? I have no idea. Laser turret. Let me make sure you don't turret me. I don't know. That's not. A... Yeah, they don't. They don't turret. They are turrets. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's whiskey. The fuel that McGraw needs to get through this shit. Right, surely there's a bed or something somewhere. I need. Oh, Gwyneth Stout. Nice. I just need. Okay, I'm Voltec among the stars. Okay. I just need a sleeping bag or something. I mean. I don't really know my way around, so I don't want to try and leave just yet, because that will probably result in me getting lost, not being able to find my way back. But if I go in here, there is a chance that I could die. Let's try and make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, there's absolutely make sure I do not get murdered in here. See, that's that's the thing as well. We're in a fucking theme park. There aren't a lot of beds just dotted around. This guy, you're in my way, son. I'm trying to search here, and you're just... You're just staring me down, giving me that attitude. Does this lead anywhere, though? Oh, it's a vault. Oh, I remember. I've seen this before. Right. 
Give me that stash, you bitch. Right. Ah, Jesus Christ, man. Thought I was having a fucking acid flashback there. Okay, they all look like they're gonna start up some shit. No bullshit from you. Okay, it's just, she's definitely dead. Oh. Oh, they wanted the spacesuits, didn't they? Yeah, spacesuit. Alright, boom. Another spacesuit, although they just put up. How did you do that? I'm just, I'm just going to take that off of you. So we got another Starco. And two spacesuits. Why can I not hurt these? I don't like that. It's going to force me to walk towards them and stand in the middle of the fucking room just to be shot to pieces. I need a whiskey, right? I'm gonna fucking whiskey. It's actually going to do that to me. I don't like the look of that at all. Well, let me just make sure I've got this out and ready. Ah, no, see, why, why, why are you going to do this? Finish him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. Good shit. There is gas in here. Okay. I, I, you know what? I remember this now. Ah, spacesuit. Is that them all? Oh, there's five spacesuits. Okay. That's a wall. All right. How about through here? That's another wall. Good shit. Oh. Uh, kill it. Come on. Uh, okay. It's just walking at me, terrifying. Oh shit, here he comes, yeah! Ah. All the comforts of hope. You're fucking with McGraw's brain. You don't need to do that. McGraw's already had his brain fucked with. Oh, hello, sir. You got a wee key for me, do you? Thank you very much. As if I'd know what to do with my found something. This is Luis Bateman reporting on week two of Project Consumer Guidance. Civilian employees are starting to experience extreme headaches similar to the previous study. Luckily, the associated depression has not surfaced, so suicides aren't expected to be an issue yet. No, oh, great. The increase in subliminal messaging frequency continues to have little to no effect on many visitors. But the speed at which the park staff was affected does show that some level of success has been achieved. I recommend moving forward with the audio tours for the next project. Perhaps a higher frequency of messaging fed directly into a consumer who can focus will be more effective. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, yeah, even though this isn't a real vault, this is just a, a tour vault for the inside of a theme park, Vault Tech still decided to experiment on people. They're good guys, those, those guys at Vault Tech. Right, go on the computer, McGraw. Right, there we go. Alright, so let's see what the hell they were doing. Experiment 001. Brainwave disruption. Use of radiation scrubbers in the exhibit to emit an electromagnetic field that causes interference in the brainwave patterns of human subjects. Expected results. Minor loss of motor control, temporary stupor, and forgetfulness. So, um, basically, they'll, they'll just make your brain no work good. Uh, uh, yeah. Experiment 2. Subliminal suggestions. Use of audio emitters to generate varying degrees of subliminal suggestions overlaid with a specific frequency. Expected results. Acceptance of suggestions caused by subjects to perform involuntary actions, headaches, depression, or other phenomena resulting from neurochemical release. Alright. So they can basically control your brain. That's good. Experiment 3. Hypnotic pheromones. Use of genetic modification on flora to release a pheromone like airborne toxin which will be inhaled while passing by the emitters. Expected results. Loss of independent thought, minor addiction, susceptibility to suggestion. I mean, but what what is the, you know, loss of independent thought? You're just not going to be able to think at all and you're only able to take commands 
from them. It's sitting in their wee office. Experiment 4. Theta radiation. Use of reactor modification to emit the theta band radiation in low, short dosages. Expected results. Drowsiness, extreme fatigue, potential paranoia from sleep deprivation. I mean, how are they going to know that over... I mean, if you're just visiting this exhibit and then you go home and you're, like, tired and shit, how are they going to know that, though? All they've done is fuck with you for no reason. They're not going to get any data back for that. All they've done is just blast some fucking brainwaves at you and gas and shit and then you just go home and feel like shit and you're just like, well, I mean, they're not gonna learn anything from that. You're just gonna be in your house feeling like shit. <laughs> Experiment 5. Long-term testing. Use of experiments 1 to 4 on Hodgson, Grunner, Dallas, Bartleby and Langston to assess long-term effects. Expected results. Varies by experiment. See experiments 1 to 4. Okay. So, I'm guessing those Hodson, Grunner, Dallas and Bartleby and Langston are all, you know, different test subjects that are going to be here long term. Whether or not they are employees of the exhibit or if they are some of the actual scientists, we will see later on. But basically all the people that are going to be hanging about for a while. You're a bad man. You you are that's extremely bad man. Fucking Bits and bag. Oh shit! Where were you? That you just what? Why? Why, man? This whole time I was just reading that shit. You're just standing out here waiting to murder me. Ooh, you could call a corpse. I think they're supposed to be quite good. I need to like fill up these water bottles somewhere. You'd think there would be at least like a tap in here. Oh shit! A bed. Yes. Oh, nice one. I cannot sleep with enemies nearby. There aren't any enemies nearby, man. Ah. Oh. Fuck off. Right, okay then, we'll open this up and it's probably gonna be like a fucking super mutant behemoth wedged into a tiny room. There we go. Yes. Oh, oh shit. Okay. That is not good at all. I've apparently just... Oh no, I'm gonna get murdered here. Oh, that's bad. I'm actually about to die. Okay. Okay, as long as I can get away from this... Quantums, all the quantums, serum, a anything that's gonna help me not die right now would be very much appreciated. Oh no, this is bad. Where's my jet? Have I got no jet left? Ultra jet. Time has already slowed. Just get out of the room. Get away from this thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> get the moonbeam out and get the moonbeam. I think it might be crawling along the ground. Oh my god, I shot at them. <laughs> Where are you? Is it dead? Oh, it's not dead yet. I missed it. Oh no, it's dead. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> I thought I was dead for sure, though. Oh. Um, Oh, I've got no water left. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna take 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 his stuff. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Can I save it now, game? You just... Oh my God, that was bad. <laughs> Mildly dehydrated. See, the problem is I'm gonna need to save it right now, and I don't have any like I have I have some water. I have some uh, Institute water. That's it though. Uh, I think I'm better off like having a sleep first. Cannot sleep. Oh, come on, game. I almost died. Uh, more keys. I don't even know what these keys are opening at this fucking point. Uh, where are these enemies that you keep saying are nearby? I just. I just wanna. I just wanna fucking save it. Well, t Please, can you just let me save it? Okay, it doesn't say that there's anyone actually here. I'm just gonna shut this over. Who the fuck is blocking me from. Saving, man. I just want to save the game. <laughs> no! Can't believe I finally find a bed and then it instantly just hits me with like... The most sh stupid bloody enemy I've seen yet. Right, can I save it now, please? You just let me just... 
No, come on, man. You're just taunting me now. Because if I die, I need to go all the way back to the start of this whole episode. I haven't saved it today yet. Why does it take two shots? I don't get it. Oh shit, right, here we go. Here we go. I am not messing about, I'm keeping this out. I don't give a fuck, man. Everything just dies, I don't give a shit. Right, I'm using my big heavy expensive ammo. Can I, can save it now? Why not? Who is blocking me, man? Who is, is actually blocking? There's probably like an enemy up the stairs through a, through the fucking, in the next room. Right, give me the star cores. Give me all the star cores, man. There we go. Star cores. Another three star cores for me. Thank you for your contribution to the cause. Let me see what's going on with the daily observations here. Right, okay then. Langston. Take ratcheted up the frequency on the subliminal suggestion emitters a few notches yesterday. And we're checking out the effect. Honestly, I can't see an appreciable difference. We're using the blue grade holotape suggestions. Simple stuff like take off your hit. You have an itch on your nose. Blink your eyes a few times. Stuff like that, the frequency boost was supposed to widen the spectrum and grab more people. But I am counting the same numbers over the last six hours. Might try the orange grade holotips tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what this voice is. <laughs> I like it. The orange grade holotip suggestions really did the trick. The more apprehensive the subject is to the suggestion, the more susceptible they are to the emitted frequency. Doesn't make sense to me, but Dr. Bateman seems to think it has something to do with the subject's fight or flight tendencies. A very low suggestion is made. The fight or flight doesn't need to kick in. No chemicals are released into the body. Like adrenaline, the tone we play with suggests from the emitters cause endorphin release. Dr. Bateman thinks that the releasing endorphins and adrenaline at the same time is having some sort of chemical effect that's making the subject unconsciously eager to have more. Almost like a drug addiction. It's fascinating stuff. Yes, went a little too far with the Gorn's great stuff today. Pretty sure the shove, the visitor in front of you suggestion, got through to this lady. And she did exactly that. Unfortunately, the other lady she shoved wasn't so forgiving. And they started a fist fight. I did hit the alarm, and security pulled them out of the exhibit. Dr. Bateman told me just to go blue grade for a while until things calm down. Maybe a few days at most. But tell you the truth, I'm glad to make the switch. The orange grade stuff kind of scares me. Come to think of it, what scares me more is that we have red grade holotapes too. Never used them. And hope we never will. I don't know, this guy has an amalgamation of about 18 different accents. I don't know what's going on. Been on the blue grade stuff for almost a week now. And frankly, it's getting boring again. I decided to throw in the orange grade holotape for a little while and see what happens. Best hour of the week, for sure. Didn't have any fist fights this time. Got a guy to drink someone else's Nuka Cola. Made a lady pick a guy's pocket and keep his wallet. <laughs> and actually, had a guy just piss in his pants. Without a care in the world, this is premium stuff. I think I'll send this tape and the frequency we're using to headquarters so they can analyze it further. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, okay. Sounds like we're having a bit too much fun with this uh, this whole thing over here. All right, we got another observation terminal. What was this observation experiment too? Oh, we got. I never even saw this in the way in. Cryo mines and pre-war money and, and ammo and shit. All right, number four. Who is this guy then? Oh, he's got quite a few. Dr. Bateman suggested we try theta radiation in the reactor area and observe the results you had from the visitors. On like standard ionizing radiation theta that it wasn't supposed to leave any lasting physical effects. It works almost instantly. It's been quite a chore keeping up with the doctor's reports and have to care at sometimes months after the visitor left the park. So this will be a welcome change. I'll climb into the chambers tonight and change out the core dampener myself, just to make certain it's done to Mr. Bateman's specifications. Alright, apparently they were looking at people once they'd left the place. Like, how can you do, like, aftercare with visitors without them realising that, like, you know, it's something had been done to them? 
<laughs> you don't just show up at the door and be like, yo, are you feeling okay? Are you, is, everything, is everything good? They'll be like, why are you asking? What, what? Did you do something? It appears that at low levels, the data radiation is having the exact effects that Dr. Bateman predicted. People are getting tired, getting a bit dizzy, looking momentarily lost, and slurring their fucking speech on occasion. The effect seems to last for maybe five minutes at most, which is beyond our expectations. I will continue to observe and record the effect and send all of the data to Vault Tech headquarters first thing in the morning. I've been observing the effect on theta radiation for almost four days now and I'm not really generating any new data points. Frankly it's getting fucking boring in this control centre and with Dr Bateman breathing down my fucking neck I can't do anything recreational like fucking blazing it my man. I'm literally staring at the same readouts for hours at a time. I was okay with it at first, but now it's starting to get to me. I wish Dr. Bateman would allow me to dial up the theta radiation, but he said we need long-term observation at a constant level. I don't get why I can't mess with the settings. Hell, even Langston who sits right behind me gets to mess around with the fucking holotapes and try out different things. Oh well. Dr. Bateman woke me up from a nap I was having at my console and yelled at me for falling asleep on the job. I couldn't even remember falling asleep, then it sort of hit me. I mean, what if Dr. Dateman piped the theta radiation in here too? I'd be a perfect long term subject, right? I spend the better part of an hour tearing open all of the maintenance panels in the place, but I can't find out how he's fucking doing it. If he's doing it. Just the thought of it's really starting to piss me fucking off. I've had enough of this crap. I don't know if Langston's messing with me or Bateman's messing with me or both of them are, but I feel like I'm one of the visitors to the exhibit and someone else is watching me. Well, guess fucking what? I'm locking the doors to this place and no one's going to fucking come in here. If I have to spend the rest of October in here or by my bloody self, then I'll... Then so be it. And if Bateman tries to override the open the doors, I've got a sweet 10mm pistol on my end waiting to be fired. Come in fucking heavy. I don't know if I'm paranoid, a victim of my own experimentation, or what the hell's fucking going on. Langston ran in here today screaming something about bombs fucking falling and then to see the vault. He kept yelling and screaming to the sound it was making my fucking head split. Couldn't take it anymore. So, so, uh, so I shot him. Shot, shot him dead. Yeah, he's, he's fucking dead. I tried to leave the control room, we're, we're, but we're locked in. Or well, are we locked in? I don't fucking know. What's real anymore and what isn't? My head hurts all the bloody time. I keep getting dizzy, falling asleep. Is the world gone? Was Langston lying or telling the truth? I don't know what to do. Maybe it's time I put an end to this. I think I know what I have to do. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. All right, well, it looks like oh, I just I just walked into him and spoiled his whole cell. I'm pretty sure he was over here with his gun in his hand. He shot this guy. He's lying there. Yeah, his, his desk is all turned over. Oh, whiskey, yes. Yeah, there's the gun there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the gun was in his hand over here. I'm pretty sure he, he blasted him and he was lying there in a crumpled heap on the floor. And then he shot himself, as you could see, he was saying in his uh, reports there. But, um... I think we get confirmation in a minute if once we find the next little sort of terminal uh, it'll give us, it'll shed a wee bit more light on uh, what happened with these guys in here. But uh, did I already, did I already do this? Journal entry. Oh, this is just by a normal employee. <laughs> do -do -do -do. It's my first day in a job here in the Voltec exhibit. Never thought I'd let me work in Nuka World. I mean, you can hardly call this a job. All you have to do is make sure the exhibit doesn't fall apart. But the techs are happy, sometimes conduct a tour too. Plus I'm getting paid double what I made in Washington DC. One of the guys working at Nuka Galaxy said they give rides to employees after the park closes. So I'll probably head over there after work and check it out. Had a scare when this old guy collapsed right after walking through the exhibit. I thought he might have had a heart attack, but Dr. Bateman said that it was just heat stroke. I thought that was a weird excuse because we keep the exhibit at a constant 72 degrees. Maybe that's too hot for some folks, I don't know. I'll bring it up at our next staff meeting. On a really strange day, Dr. Bateman locked himself out of the observation room again. I told him to put a spare key in his locker so he wouldn't forget it next time. He brushed me off and left the room. I don't really know why, but the whole interaction made me feel really, really angry. A few minutes later I had a bad headache. Maybe something's wrong with a filtered air system in the exhibit. I don't, I don't know. The hell is going on around here? I don't know if someone's messing with my terminal or if I'm losing my goddamn mind. I don't remember making that last journal entry about getting angry or having a headache. I felt perfectly fine for weeks. Just a few minutes ago, Dr. Bateman came through and I don't know what he said. 
I should really stop drinking on the job. I do smell a little bit like whiskey, but I don't remember drinking any. Maybe I need a vacation or a doctor's appointment. All right, I've had enough of this shit. A lady just went nuts and ran out of the exhibit screaming. The day before that, some guy took off all of his clothes for no goddamn reason and acted like he didn't have a care in the world until security dragged him away. To make matters worse, I keep getting sudden nosebleeds and headaches. I'm constantly forgetting things and I've done of misplacing stuff I shouldn't be losing. Dr. Bateman said he thinks I had something to do with stress or new job anxiety. But come on, nosebleeds and memory loss from job anxiety? Really? Yeah, he was losing his shit, that guy. Yeah, they were just pumping gas. You can hear the gas. You can actually see the fucking gas, to be honest. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, your normal employee guy sitting there, he, oh, whiskey bottles and shit. Maybe he was drinking on the job. But yeah, yeah, that guy was getting, like, experimented on, and he obviously had no fucking idea about any of it. All right, dog, let's get the fuck out of here. I need to really... Oh, did I save it? Did it let me save it? I can't even... Maybe I've been hit with the gas. I can't remember shit. All right, apparently, no, I haven't. Ah, no, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I don't want to throw that, man. Grenades. I need grenades now. And you know what? Just get out the fucking moonbeam. No messing around anymore, man. Pulse grenade. Ah, I want to try that. Right, okay, have one of them. You have a couple of ball bags. I don't know what that was. Is everything dead? Okay, no, apparently it's not. Fucking just die, man. <laughs> Oh shit. They dead? Oh, there's another one over there, apparently. Right, no. Can you just all refrain from trying to murder me and my dog? Please. That'd be nice. Right, can I go and fucking save it now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's got to be something above me. It's got to be. What is this? What's in here? Another dead doctor, I think. Oh, water. I have some water. I really need the water right now. <laughs> Purified water. Boom. I mean, it, it didn't actually help it at all, but at least it was something. Oh, observation lab key. Had to, to be honest, I think I probably did that before I went and picked the lock. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, no. Stop it. Just please, stop it. I think I need to, like... Oh. Fuck these things, man. I can level up, right? I'm leveling up. I'm doing it. I don't give a shit. It's happening. Alright. Now, I would just get cannibal right now. And I'm going to get cannibal. But I'm in a robot, like, zone. So there's really no point in getting that right now. Because I'm not... I can't eat robots. They're made of metal. So, saying that, if I come across, like, a... Like, a dead trader, can I just eat that? I'd imagine, yeah. Hmm. Fuck it. Oh, nice! Okay. I just want to save the game. It's all I'm... Honestly, it's all I care about right now. Oh, shit! I can do it! <laughs> I don't know what's different now that was the case a few minutes ago, but I can do it. Thank you, game. Thank you. Thank you for letting me finally fucking save. Jesus. Right. You know what? That'll do. Right. 
just went for a snooze in a gas filled room because I'm a smart person. Okay, so let me just get that. What's that institute? Institute bottled water. That's the stuff. Noodle cups, they have water. I'm properly hydrated. Would you look at that? Okay, now I can do stuff without worrying about dying and being reset back like an hour's fucking progress. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, spacesuits. I got all the spacesuits. I want to know what else happened with the, with the fucking... Oh, duffel bags, yes. I want to know what else is happening with this uh, experiment thing, though. Hold on, I'm not quite done here yet. Fuck off, man. Fucking rail, railings and shit. Oh, we got, like, carrots and shit in here. I don't need carrots or melons. More information. Oh. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> okay, that's the way I came in. Right, I think I may have got them all then. I got all the space suits. Did I get all the all the other shit? I don't know about this. Sales instructions. Right, yeah, but where is it? Yeah, what, what was the deal? Were they just trying to sell, like, vaults? Hello, Vault Tech Sales Associate. As people exit the Vault Tech Among the Stars exhibit, you'll be responsible for taking visitors aside and converting them to potential applicants. Even if they seem interested, remember that the applicant will have many questions but very little time on their hands. How can you ensure they're prepared to step through on our sales process in a quick and accurate manner? Simple! Remember the three I's. Introduction, Initiation and Information. Note, if any of the applicants appear to be ill or acting in a strange manner, be certain to report this to the sales supervisor immediately. Okay. <laughs> They don't tell the employees there's some dodgy shit going on, but they kind of allude to it a little bit. First and foremost, greet the applicant with a hearty handshake and a warm smile. Perhaps tell a light, clean joke to tell them to make them laugh or a pleasant compliment about their appearance. Ask them if they want something to drink or offer them a snack. Check how they're feeling. Engage their mood. Make them feel like they're already home and part of the Vault Peg family. Studies show beginning with this approach increases the chances of a sale by over 28%. Okay. When you feel like you've gained your confidence, explain the benefits of life within a vault using the information from our Better Living Underground packet. If they still appear hesitant, don't pester them or give them the hard sell. Our studies show that this over-aggressive approach usually turns the applicants off and they become unwilling to listen to anything that you have to say. For the overly sceptical applicant or if you need something to tip the scales, if you think the applicant is undecided, we suggest letting them glance through the history of radiation burns or the mutations it could happen to you brochures. Wow, man. That is fucked up. Look at these horribly burned people. This could happen to you if you're not in this fucking vault, you stupid bastard. <laughs> what the fuck? The horrible burns brochure. Holy shit. So, you finally convinced the applicant to sign. Good job. Now it's time to step them through the quick and painless application process. Pull the following forms from the new applicant's file. The health form, liability waiver, last will and testament form, vault tech citizenship agreement, organ donation invoice, okay, psychological evaluation screening, intimate relations conduct agreement, rights revocation charter, revocation, and the family history form. Have the applicant fill these out in quintuplicate. Quint quintuplicate. What does that mean? Do them five times? File the daffodil coloured copy in the corporate bin. File the lemon coloured copy in the local bin. Place the canary coloured copy in the medical bin. Place the gold coloured copy in the insurance bin. And present the yellow copy to the applicant. Do not place the wrong copy in the wrong bins or they will pro all the process will need to be repeated. Why do I get a feeling that they all have different stuff on them? They all have different shit on them. Yeah, I got a feeling that the ones that, that the applicants, the actual customers, are getting different forms Going to what else now. that they're signing. And yeah, yeah, lower, like lower, man, Voltec are so fucking shady. It's actually ridiculous. Right, I haven't been down the left. So I don't know where this upper takes me. Level. But I've gotten a bunch of star cores. I've got all of the space suits. I managed to actually save my game without being brutally murdered. I, I came so fucking close. I honestly thought I was dead. I thought I was well, I was thought I was easily dead when that assault tron came flying out and put my health down to like nothing instantly. I was certain that I was about to get splattered all across the fucking room. But nope, McGraw fights through. He got away. <laughs> and eventually we managed to get myself a wee save in there. So uh Yeah. Yeah, not bad then, no. Oh no, 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 why? Why would you open the door and instantly fucking introduce me to this? 
right, no, no, kill that other one as well. Oh no, that's gonna murder me, isn't it? Okay, yeah, there we go. I didn't need to waste that on that shitty robot, but oh well. Oh my god, apparently there's there's a ton of rats here. What is that? What is going on here, man? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I'm just gonna go now. Now, I've noticed that I've been getting rats, but they're not showing up on the, in the bottom. I don't know if there's some sort of graphical glitch going on. You notice that? Down the bottom left there. I've been getting rats, but there's absolutely none of them showing up. New, new Kakula yes. recipe. Okay. Let me just heal a little bit. Ah, oh, nom 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 nom. You succumb to a dark craving. My girl always has dark cravings. Oh, magnetic charge, yes. Good shit. Cool, let's, uh, I guess, get another save in here. Ah, oh, nom 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 nom. See, this man has a carrot that I could eat, or... Where? Oh. Yeah, fuck you. Can I sleep now? Yeah. Just to make sure I've got that save in. You crave a different kind of food. Like, how often is that actually going to happen? Like, all the time. Yeah, dog, wait a second. I'm just, I need to feast. I must feast. Is there any actual benefits to doing that? I don't know if there is. I just thought McGraw should be a cannibal, because, well, well, we all know why. Oh, noodles. Okay, well, I don't really know what else there is to do in Nuka World. Um, it is a fairly big place. There's a lot of shit around here. But I feel like I've covered pretty much all of it. I'm sure there's probably something that I've missed. So if, there, if you know anything off the top of your head that I have definitely missed, then leave me a comment down below. But I'm gonna go and turn in these spacesuits to the herbologists. They need their spacesuits for science or some shit, I don't know. No, I know what it is they need, but I'm not gonna spoil it. We need to see in person what's going on. And I don't know if this is the way out. Can I get, okay, it says exit right there. But hold on, what is this down here? Oh, apparently there's shit to kill here that I haven't killed yet. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's dead. Okay. Oh, ole, bitch. Okay, you know what? This may be the last place. This may be the last one. So let me just see what the hell's in the interstellar. Starlight Interstellar Theater. All right, let me make sure we're loaded. Locked and loaded and ready to fucking rumble. All right, and then I can go and turn in those uh, space suits. What the hell is a star tender? Sounds scary. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't tell on the camera what else there is. Oh, no, it's a massive fucking... Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, the moonbeam. This is not a friendly thing. Dog. Get back. Is it rolling up yet? Okay! Oh no! Alright oh, then! Eh. Uh, oh, ev concentrate everything on his face! Come on, am I gonna one more hit? Am I gonna one more hit? Okay, go! And the dog might be in pieces. Oh shit, hello. There we go. Yeah, sentry bot was the word I was trying to form. That that's what that's what it was. More star cores. Nice one. Just get some moonshine, McGraw, bourbon, whiskey, all the good shit. Oh, the dog food. You want the dog food? Dog? Hey, hey, hey! You want the dog food? Nah, dog doesn't have dog food. Dog only fucking eats like steaks out of the mist and slime. Sounds like the day McGraw was born. Oh, hello. Probably gonna lose this one on one fight here. <laughs> there we go. I'm 
Oh sure. Fuck off. Fill all these bottles and then I can purify the water and everything will be fine. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, do, you, do you care explaining, ma'am, what was going on in here? I'm just gonna take the cap stash. You can keep the plungers though, you can keep, keep those. All right, I saw nothing, dog. Don't investigate in there. This guy was just taking all of the drugs and probably bulking into that toilet. And dog, for fuck's sake, can you get out of the way? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pick up the, try to pick up all the drugs. Can you? Hey, right, over dog, here. Go here and stand here. Can you? I've given you a command, man. Dog. Right. Okay. He's he's not on top of them now. Fucking. Right. Okay. 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 There we go. Now I can get all the stuff. Thanks for getting out of the fucking way, dog. Fuck this going on in here. Oh shit, yes, Starco. And a meal. Improved targeted boosted agitate, improved automatic laser pistol. That's a fucking mouthful. Right, hold on, let me just You crave a different kind of food. I just ate like seconds ago. Did I search that big bastard? I don't know if I did. Fusion core, missiles. Yeah, fucking missiles! Yeah, I'm really running low on ammo for this thing. I should probably stop using it. Oh, shit. Okay. There's a safe on the wall, though. I heard you. You ain't fooling anyone, son. No, I can't do well in combat. I'm not in combat. They're dead already. Everything's so crammed together in these fucking places that every time you try and do anything, it's like, oh, there's an enemy nearby. It's like, no, man, he's like four floors away. Oh, hello. What is going on in here? Ah, uh, that's cherry and normal colas. Okay. Nuka cooler. Max HP. Oh, that one looks quite good, actually. One thing to ask here, right? One of the main objectives of being in this fucking whole part of the park is you're trying to restore the power. How do the lifts still work? Someone explain that to me. There's no power, but the lifts work. Oh shit, hello. No! Don't need that. Nuka Grape. Projection booth terminal. What's happening with this thing? Theater program schedule. Halloween's coming up. That means it's Sci-Fi Horror Madness Month in the theatre. Make sure the few hours are loaded and ready for the first showing in October. Week 1! The Beast with the Trojan Eyes! Death comes singing! The Chartreuse Slime! The Slimening! Yikes! There's blood everywhere! Week 2! Nuka Monster! Adam Bomb! The Chartreuse Slime 2! Slime to Die! Gra! The sequel! <laughs> What the fuck? Week three! Insects ate my baby! My husband, the mutant. The Chartreuse Slime 3. Slime doesn't pay. Night of the Fishman's Revenge. I love these, uh, the Chartreuse Slime. Slime doesn't pay. Slime to die. <laughs> and the slimening. Oh. Week four! Nuka Valley Massacre. The bomb strikes at midnight. The Chartreuse Slime 4, War Slimes, and Armageddon o Rama. I want all you lazy jerks to get off your butts and clean the theater after each and every showing. I came into the theater this morning and several of the rocket pods were filled with trash, empty Nuka Cola bottles, and who knows what else. Nuka World doesn't pay you clowns to watch movies all day, they pay you to work. Apparently they weren't doing their fucking jobs. If any of you notice the star tender breaking glasses again, please let management know. We spent thousands of dollars in glassware in the last few months. Ever since the geniuses running the pot decided to have a robot with no goddamn hands mixing drinks. I'd also recommend not getting it angry. Whether you trust this whole star control system or not, it's AI. It's still acting a bit aggressive and we don't want any more accidents. Apparently uh, they get angry. Which shouldn't be a thing, it's a fucking robot, but okay. Apparently I crave a different kind of food. What actually, what benefits and what, what like, um, downsides are there to the whole cannibalism thing? Oh, there we go, Starco. Oh, it just shut off the film right away. Alright. Why would you have all these turrets in, like, theatres and shit? 
<laughs> I get it for the purpose of the game, but like you're watching when I'm yeah when I'm in, going to the pictures and stuff. I don't have there's not an armed guard or a turret in the fucking ceiling making sure that I'm no there pirating fucking DVDs. <laughs> what happens if they do see you sitting there filming like pirating shit? Do they just fucking open fire? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that how they do things in America, huh? Just the, the most minor indiscretion, they just fucking open up on you. So was that everything? Was that the whole building? Did I just search the whole building? Wasn't very much to this one. Alright, back out then you can work. I can't help but feel there was more to that place and I didn't search it all, but... What have you found? Take me to the thing. What, what, what the, what's the thing? Well, you found a raid? What? The dog is seriously fucking freaking out. Right, whatever, man, whatever, I don't care. Right, it's nothing, nothing to fucking do with me. Where does this take me? Is this just gonna take me up to where I've already went? Yeah, I think it is. So, right, I've already done all this shit. Not a big deal. I'll be cheeky stim pack. And some more bottles that I can fill, even though I've already got fucking tons of them. Cool, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm guessing I go out the front over here. Attention, please. Found an enemy. Where? Today's performance of Cafio and Bottlet will begin in approximately 15 oh. minutes. Oh shit. Is he gonna die? Please die. Okay. Preferably before it murders me. All right, nice one. Right, yeah, let's go and let's go and find those herbology cunts. Why is it that every time I eat, it instantly is like you crave more, you crave more now, and it's like I just ate like five seconds ago. How many humans does McGraw have to consume? Seems to always be fucking more, no matter what. So I'll just fill as much of this shit as I can while I'm walking past. Okay, there we go. All right, so what 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 fucking wonders does the wasteland have for me this time? Because no doubt there's gonna be fucking random scorpions and fire ants and shit just gonna appear out of nowhere. And those wee cricket things that are like impossible to hit, and they absolutely hurt like a bastard any time they fucking bite your toes or whatever it is. Because they're only wee tiny crickets. I don't understand. I just don't understand how they can do as much damage as they do. Right, right, you can fuck off. My works are shit. Mileworks are, yeah, they're garbage. I don't give a fuck about no mileworks. They try any shit, then they go down. Right, the herbologists. So we're here to see. All right then, so who's the person in charge? You got my eye on me, have you? Yeah, I know. Right, you. I can see the spaceship from here, just like he promised. Just sitting in that damn junkyard. So close, so tantalizing. Ma that may be the digress. first indicator that Do it's not quite a good spaceship if it's in a fucking junkyard. Do you not? Do you not see that connection there? It's the reason I need those suits. Without them, yeah, we don't fly have to the a moon in a fucking broken spaceship. But enough of that for now. Do you have the spacesuits or not? Aye, aye, I went and blasted all those fucking cunts and got your bastard in spacesuits. So here you go, you fucking astronaut. Perfect. Here is your payment. We can proceed with the next step in the plan. I'm counting on you to help us with it. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. I know it's a lot to ask, so I'm willing to give you one of Habology's great treasures if we succeed. No, I'm sorry, but what's the deal with the fucking spaceship? It is central to Hubology. We are destined to make it fly. More than that, I cannot okay. tell you. It is secret knowledge reserved for AHS 7 members. Right. Well, you know it's not a real fucking spaceship, though. And it's... If this is an amusement park. Your mind is limited by neurodimes. If you okay. had my expanded mental powers, you would yeah. see the truth of All right, the spaceship. Then. Your expanded mental powers. That's what you've got, definitely. Hold on, I need to have a drink here, especially to fucking cope with this conversation. Uh, yeah, okay, let's fucking, let's get ready to rumble, you fucking stupid bastard. Beverage, purified water. Yeah. Hey guys, you're forming a circle. That's is the normal way to have a conversation. You're the rim? What? Oh. Oh, she's... <sighs> hey, Tara. 
D or Dara. Dara, you need to... Dara. Dara, don't make me use explosives to make this work. I can do that and you will not like it. You stupid bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I can't make her move. Ah, duh, fucking Jesus Christ. Right, I'm gonna go somewhere else and then come back here because this is, this is not gonna happen. Right, where is it, Doc? What have you found? It's not that woman's sanity. You haven't found that, have you? No one can find that. Oh, she made it. To protect us from the robot guards. So put on these spacesuits and take up your arms. We have a mercenary to lead us into combat. They may what? be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you. Cool. We're not going right now, are we? I didn't I didn't say we should go. hold on guys, man. Can I go and Oh, I can use a sleeping bag. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna hit save now and hopefully they haven't all disappeared too fucking far away. I don't know, they might have ran away from me. I'm not entirely sure. Right, so I guess I'll need to go and catch up with these fucking morons, but um, in, the, in the meantime, fuck it. We'll end this one here. I can't have this going on forever. If you guys have enjoyed, don't forget, hit the like button down below to help support make more episodes for your viewing pleasure and all that good shit. If you haven't yet and you live in uh, Scotland, you want to come along and uh, see us all playing football, I'm taking part, of course, in a charity football game with a bunch of other Scottish YouTubers. It should be a great day out, so if you live in the local area, that's on August 19th next month. <coughs> and uh, McGraw apparently is uh, trying to urge you to go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Until next time, my name has been Big Monday. This year has been Wambo McGraw and Fallout 4, and we will see you guys later. Goodbye.